Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and today I'm here to talk about the Sawtooth Star Block. The Sawtooth Star Block is one of those basic blocks that not only do you see it all over through quilting designs, but it's also often the center unit of a bigger star block. So I did a blog post on this block a couple years ago, and I'm going to actually update that post and give you more measurements and more sizes that you can make. Um, but in this video today, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for making this classic block. So the star sawtooth star block is actually made up of nine units that you can see here. Um, you're going to have a center square and you're going to have four outer squares and then you're going to have four flying geese units. And I um, already have a tutorial, a blog post, and a video on making these flying geese units perfect. So I will link to them in the description after we're done with this video. Um, so I've got this one laid out. One common way of making this block is to use all of these fabrics the same, the center square and the corners on the flying geese, and then to use just a background fabric. You can also kind of change this block up a little bit if you make a scrappy center. And so here I've made um, a scrappy center with four different squares. Um, actually, these two are the same, but it just gives a, a little bit different look for your sawtooth star block. And just, just another option that you can use. Um, something else that you can do with this block is I'll just lay out another block for you. Is kind of keep that center square in the same color family, but make it different. So that's another option for you. Um, also, you can always reverse the darks and the lights and have this square be light, and then all of the parts that are light be your dark fabrics. As far as making this block accurately, really the most important thing is that when you make your flying geese units, you have that extra, that quarter inch so that these points won't get cut off. And then just double check and make sure that all of your pieces are cut at the correct size. Another option with this block, and I'm going to show you, I've used it for the center of another block. And so this is actually, if you look at the center, is just a, saw, a scrappy sawtooth star. And I've got four different fabrics for the middle. But you can see that I did all of these with different fabrics. And you can do that by making your flying geese units with two different fabrics for each side, or you can utilize half square triangles like I did here. So there are just a lot of options with this block. Again, the most important thing is whether you're using flying geese or half square triangles, that those pieces are accurately made and finished and that all your cutting is good. And then this is one of those blocks that even a beginner can do accurately and well. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration today on sawtooth star blocks and some of the tips and tricks and even some of the variations you can easily do with them. I have a blog post on this block with some measurements that you can use to make your own sawtooth star blocks and I'll link to that in the description. And then I'll also link to the flying geese post and video and we'll actually put that up so that you can click on it right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you enjoyed this content, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel and thanks so much for stopping by.